Joy, joy, joy. Welcome to another episode of Angel Feathers. I'm Swami, the Orange Cowboy. And today our guest is Carrie Fisher. Carrie, tell us your story. Hi. Um, well, Swami, as you know, I met you in Lisa Williams training when we got certified. And I want to thank you because I laid by you with that sound bath meditation and had the most visual experience ever. And I attributed that to being next to you. So thank you for that. Um, but as you know, I lost my sister in January of 2017, and um, she came through very fast and furious with making me work with a group of seven archangels um, so I could get through the grief process. And somehow I healed most of it in 13 months from the work with them. Wow. Um, and it started off with Uriel, and really all they did was just come in and put just a little drop of their knowledge into your brain and... I can say Jesus took the wheel because I would just get to my destination and then have to channel out what they said. And um, it was all about removing residual karma, removing residual energies that I no longer needed to carry from the loss. And they mm -hmm. did that immediately, um, which released me from her physical shell. So okay. I'm grateful that I was a medium prior. Um, then, then you worked with, I think, your, what happened when you worked with your very last angel? With Archangel Michael, um, when I got in the car that morning, he told me I, he would be with me, and I giggled and said, thank you for telling me for once. And um, as I was driving, and I was coming off the middle lane of the bridge on the, to the western shore of Maryland, and he said, remember, I'm here. And as I came off the exit, I saw a van merging off of the exit, and I saw the back of a maroon Dodge Charger, the right door hit that driver's side door of the van. I time as I knew it stopped and I knew that the car would turn sideways and I would hit it and I was leaving and there was nothing I could do about it. I tried to analyze, could I stop? Could I turn around? Could I U-turn? No. Um, and then I started to yell, no, I cannot leave my family the same way my sister did. And I saw a flash of cobalt blue in a diagonal line and the cars merged into like a cobweb. And I blinked my eyes, and the car was two car lengths in front of the van driving on the road. And your your car it, was was two car lengths in front of the other cars. Uh, they were to my right. They were in the right lane. So yeah. where they would have hit the car was in front of the van driving at least two car lengths ahead of him. After I blinked my eyes, and wow. I was just like, and then I heard spirit say, "You will now serve." And um, I've been on the fast track of ascension ever since, and um, I guess when I talk about ascension, I talk about reality shifts in perception because that shifted me in an instant from anything from fear to love that did it. That was the instance that did it, and I've been able to live from a place of love ever since, and um, angels are so powerful. And they told us, they, they all did say, many people pray to us, but we need specific direction. So... You know, there, I don't feel like there's any request too big that we can't throw out there to them. They're going to give us what's in our highest good. But, uh, yeah, it was an amazing experience to see and witness and process and heal from. That's quite so, a story. Yeah, I just yeah. Felt, that, I felt that right back in my heart when you said that. And I, I think that's the day that, like, I moved from my head to my heart to be completely honest with you, because um, yeah. I, I say it's the longest journey you'll ever take, and it was just an instantaneous shift. And it does take a little bit to get used to that frequency because it's much higher, but it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Is and there I think anything? we're all... Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a message to ask you. I hear like people are saying, well, how do I move from my head to my heart? Do you have a, a method that you can share with people? You know, the best thing that I tell people to do is meditation. Um, it wasn't until I started to live on my own that I forced myself to meditate. And if I fell asleep, it worked in my mind. And I just noticed that slowly, maybe a couple months later, once I first started to regularly meditate, I'd wake up and what was a big deal was no longer a big deal. So I think meditation helps you hear, heal a series of little things to lead to the big things to heal because we have to be very aware um, of, of the healing. Yeah. Beautiful. I figured out through working with the angels that us women especially heal from our root chakra up and whatever it is when we get to our mouth, <laughs> you know, is how it comes out. But uh, yeah, 
I've had some pretty intense, amazing experience after bouts of anger with grief. And then I started working with Nikola Tesla. Like it, he just showed up and I'm like, okay, now let me focus on that. So it's definitely been an interesting journey of who can come through when you surrender to everything. Yeah. That's really, yeah. it's surrender. Wow. Well, that is a beautiful, really powerful story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Oh, I'm happy to share. I mean, if anybody has any questions that any of us can answer about the archangels, because they're so present, you can just see them flying around the sky now. It's amazing. And I've even had people reach out and tell me, hey, I think I had an archangel in my room last night. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you probably did. So I'm hearing that a lot. And that's okay, good. So, so that begs the next question people are probably going to ask is, how do I know when I, if I'm looking at an archangel? Um, I've gotten so I ask people if they see orbs of color, like a sparkly light, and what color was it? And, you know, per the color, I can tell them which archangel it is. Or, you know, sometimes deep down they already know. They say, oh, I already had a connection to Raphael or, you know, and I'm like, well, you are a fractual of Raphael. And, you know, sometimes that blows people's minds once that sinks in that you are a fractual of an archangel. You know, there's a few of them that I know, and some of them have the hardest human lives. So, you know, it's like we try to help each other through it, especially in our light worker community, because they're just so present, fast and furious, and it's amazing. Beautiful. So, yeah. Well, thank, you. thank you so much for sharing that story. From oh, behalf so of Carrie, thank you all for tuning in to Angel Feathers. I'm Swami, the Orange Cowboy. Till next time, I wish you all angel wings, angel wings, angel wings of joy. May my angel wings flap for you. <laughs> Thank you. Joy, joy, joy. Thank you.